Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome to, back to another top five list. So this top five list is my top five favorite actresses. As you guys know, last time we did top five favorite actors. So today is actresses. So we're going to start with my fifth favorite actress. And she is Amy Poehler, known for Parks and Recreation, Saturday Night Live, and Sisters. Now for me, Amy Poehler has always been a super, super funny person. Um, the first time I really recognized her voice was in Inside Out when she played Joy, and then when I went to go and watch Parks and Recreation after I finished watching The Office, I realized it was the same person. So I was like, holy crap, that's actually kind of cool. I think she's super funny, super talented, and I haven't seen much of what she's in, so I hope to further explore, you know, what movies she's been in other than the ones that I have already seen. So, my fourth favorite actress, she is... Jamie Lee Curtis, known for Halloween 1978, True Lies, and Trading Places. Now the reason why I like Jamie Lee Curtis is because she's very diverse in her acting. She could be comedic and she could also be pretty badass, like, like I said, like the Halloween series. She's really good in that, and especially in the newer Halloween, the 2018, I think that's the one that she was in as well, she was an um, she was phenomenal. And another one I know her for is uh, Freaky Friday with Lindsay Lohan, oh my god. If there was one person I would love to be my mother, it's, I mean, I love my mother, <laughs> but, you know, if for some reason, God forbid, I hope this never happens, knock on wood, something happens to my mom, I would love to have Jamie Lee Curtis as, like, a stepmom. She seems like the type to always, like, put her foot down and get down to business, and she just seems like a wonderful person. So my third favorite actress is Rachel McFarlane, known for American Dad, Family Guy, and The Orville. I love, love Rachel McFarlane. I mean, I love Seth McFarlane, so obviously, I think that's his sister, if memory serves me right. She is so great, especially playing um, Haley on American Dad. That's where I know her best from, is American Dad. And I love her as Haley. Not only is she a phenomenal actress, but her singing is just oh so gorgeous. Like, I didn't know she could sing until I had watched American Dad and she sang as Haley in an episode where Roger had Haley sing for his bar in the attic and the second that I heard her sing and I heard her pipes I was like there is no way that's her then I looked her up and sure as shit she can sing it's like geez I think that's a mix I think that's a McFarlane gene if you ask me so my second favorite actress is Amy Adams known for American Hustle Enchanted and Arrival. Now granted Enchanted is not one of my favorite movies at all. In fact, I absolutely despise the movie. But I love Amy Adams and my favorite work that she has done in terms of her acting is not only the Muppets movie because I thought the Muppets movie was absolutely adorable, but it was also Big Eyes. I love the movie Big Eyes. I know it's a Burton movie and I'm like 500% biased, but I have told you guys before that there is a Burton movie I hate, two Burton movies I hate. It's Pee-wee's Big Adventure and uh, Mars Attacks. But Big Eyes was such an amazing movie and I loved seeing her act in Big Eyes. And I think that's re what really solidified her as my second favorite actress. But can you take a guess at who my first favorite actress is? Because she's coming up right now. Helena Bonham Carter, known for Sweeney Todd the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, Alice in Wonderland, and Fight Club. Now is it any surprise that most of my favorite actors and actresses are involved in Burton movies because Oops! <laughs> but yes, Helena Bonham Carter is my absolute favorite actress of all time. And I think the role I like her best in is not uh, Sweeney Todd, but I've actually enjoyed her as Bellatrix in the Harry Potter series. Now, mind you, I have only seen up to the, I believe, fourth or fifth movie. I am just not the biggest Harry Potter fan. But I think for Helena, those dark roles are what make her so talented. And even when she had her brief appearance in the live-action Cinderella movie, I thought she did great as the fairy godmother. So I think with someone as creative as she is, these roles are meant for her. I feel like if it wasn't for her, these roles wouldn't be brought to life, especially Emily from Corpse Bride. I really think Helena did Emily well in being the pers the tragic bride who's just seeking love. I mean, that's always that's been not a common trope, but a good trope for Helena, you know, in Sweeney Todd she's fallen for Sweeney Todd and Corpse Bride she's fallen for Victor there's just all of these like love characters that she has played where she has just been 
hopelessly enamored with the main character, but unfortunately can't get him in the end. But anyways, I just think she's a phenomenal actress, and that's why I put her at number one. And I just want to thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know who your favorite actresses are in the comment section down below, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.